So when you're researching who your customer might be and creating your target market, you're going to have to look around for different websites. And here's an example of one that I looked at if I was trying to find who the customer would be for a Ford F-150. And I find this site here that says Owner Demographics. And when I look at this page, there's some information on it. And as I scroll down, I see... The average age is 55, they're 84% male, mostly white males and Hispanic buyers. So this is great information. What I can do is just copy this and paste it into my document. So if I cut and paste this, I'll have this information here, but I need to cite it, okay? And this is where we have a citation. now. For APA, there's two places you need to put it. One, you need to put it right after this information that you took. And because I took it verbatim, it should be in quotes. So you're going to have to put a citation right here. But what's nice is in Microsoft Word, there are references. And if you click on references, you can come here to insert citation. And when you insert your citation, this citation is going to be in the text. So anything you cut and paste needs a citation. And then at the end, you'll have a bibliography. So I can add new source and it just walks you through it. So select the one that sounds the most like what you did. Well, this is a website. Who is the author of this? If I come back here and look, there's not really an author, so Hedges and Company is fine. So I'll come here and I'll write Hedges and Company. Or I can select Corporate Author, whatever you want to do. The name of the web page is going to be right here, Pickup Truck Owner Demographics. We'll use that as the name of the web page, so I can copy that put it in here, the name of the website, this is gonna be Hedges Company. And then what, when it was from. So right here, we're gonna look for the date that this was published. And it's usually either at the top or the bottom. Uh, this one, I don't see a date on, so if there's no date, then we can just leave that blank. And then the URL. And the URL is just up here. And actually, it looks like there's a date up here in the URL of 10, 2018. So that would be October of 2018. So we can put 2018 here in the month as October and the URL. Now that we filled this out and hit OK, it automatically places a citation right here. So that's perfect. And cutting and pasting is perfectly fine for the target market as long as you cite it. So the first step is to put in a citation. Then when you're done with everything, at the bottom of your report, you need to say where these came from. And again, you'll use these references. And right here, they've got a bibliography. And you can select a few different things. I prefer works cited or references but it really doesn't matter at this point. So if you click on this, it will automatically fill out your references at the end. So now you have good information that you found. It's documented and it's cited APA style.